Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Uh, <laughs> well, that was really awkward. Welcome back. Today I'm doing a style q and I haven't done one of these in almost a year and I love these videos. They're like three in one and the fact that they are three in one is what stops me doing them but I really love them. It's a real double-edged sword. But I asked you for your questions at the weekend and I had so many good questions. I whittled it down because these uh, videos do tend to get quite meaty. So I actually only get to answer a select few, but I have made a list of other ones that I like and I'll revert back to it for future videos. Also, I want to apologize for the fact that there hasn't been a video in about a week. I was so looking forward to being really, really on it this month with videos because normally I drop off a bit in November after October, before December, and I really aimed to keep up with it. And we just had a week where nothing was possible and I wasn't sleeping honestly insomnia I've never had it in my life but it was one of the worst weeks of my life and I actually had a good night's sleep last night so I'm back and I'm just kind of trying to film as much as I can for you guys at the moment in the run-up to vlogmas which I am doing so you get some more me I'm sorry for those of you that hate me and you're welcome for those of you that actually do like me so anyway I'm gonna stop I'm gonna get on with the video okay question one is top winter coats this is should in theory be the easiest question for me to answer because I really love winter coats but actually on that flip side of things it's actually really hard because I love all my coats a lot they are like my children so top winter coats now I'm assuming we're talking like winter winter like want to keep snuggly and warm I would say number one a teddy bear coat I have a lot of these I think I have two misguided ones and then yeah, this one. This one's from Jane and Tash. This is just the one that's on my rail, but it's very, very similar to the misguided ones. Just the price point is higher, the quality is slightly better. Like it's much, much thicker. And for that, this is like a true winter coat. It's incredible. I actually would quite like this in a number of colors, but like I said, very expensive. So I just bought it in a color that is very unique to my wardrobe. Like I love this color, as you can tell, but I don't have a ton of coats in this color. And it's actually quite hard to come by in my uh, other two are black and tan which it's fairly easy to find more affordable options in those colours but this one is just really beautiful and a little bit more unique so I didn't mind spending the money on it and yeah it's just like a true wintery wintery coat so yeah I would say that um in terms of like a classic I would say one like this like a long black coat I think this one is double breasted you can't really see it very well but yeah it's like double breasted very very long comes down to like the middle of my calves and i just really like it for that kind of almost like trench coat vibe but without it being like too light it's like almost like duster coaty but snuggly at the same time i can't remember if i said this is from all saints i'll try and link some more affordable versions i'm sure zara will do a more affordable version but yeah that is like another top winter coat of mine and then another one i'm gonna go over here sorry i think my final top winter coat would be this one this is just like a black aviator it's super super classic this one is from top shop i'm actually feeling like i at some point in the future when this is like a little bit older and kind of falling apart i will invest in like a more higher quality version of this just because i do notice when i would try like for example like i wouldn't buy an all saints one but when you try on the all saints aviator jackets there the quality is just so much better so i definitely think this will be one that i would actually invest in um in terms of quality in the future just because my top shot one does it does feel a bit flimsy but i still love it and it's still very very warm and snuggly and it's just one of those great ones for throwing on for whatever you're doing like whether you're going to the shops it still looks nice on a night out with certain outfits as well and if i'm going to like the gym and I need to just throw a coat on this one just kind of works with like leggings and trainers so it just always feels like an appropriate one to throw on so um I would definitely say this is one of my top winter coats it's just very very versatile very warm in terms of like all of these I would say they're all super super warm so they're my like top three winter coat picks but I think those are the most practical three and I think the best that will stay in your wardrobe for the longest time they're very very like classic but practical <laughs> I mean if we're talking practical like a duffel coat like those big like sleeping bag type ones are obviously the best ones actually I'm at, at the stage in my life where I would quite like one because I think they look really cool like big black shades <laughs> who am I? I feel like I'm definitely turning into my mother someone has asked me what are your airport outfits and I know this is kind of like a weird one to talk about this time of the year but I did think seeing as some of you might be going away to like warmer climates for kind of like the holiday season I know some people do go on holiday I've never done that and when I found out people did that I was like 
that is wild oh my god so for those of you who are going to like warmer climates or you just live somewhere that's slightly warmer during the winter you're very lucky i'm going to insert a video that i actually filmed in the summer and i never got the chance to post it just because i was kind of all over the place and I filmed it and by the time I got back from all of my travels it was literally autumn and would have made no sense to post so I actually feel like I'm just gonna insert it in now so these are my airport outfits some of them actually might work quite well for winter there's obviously no, no coats but just imagine that you can throw a coat on with some of these there's a light jacket in some of the outfits but yeah these are the airport outfits that I put together in the summer and i hope you guys enjoy this let me know if you would like an updated version that's for like wintry climates although it's very very difficult i went to iceland last year and honestly packing for a cold climate on like minimal luggage because i had some serious luggage restrictions i can't say that it was impossible because i needed like coats iceland like honestly it was a nightmare but let me know if you would like a kind of airport outfits for going to a colder climate because I can definitely do that but these are just kind of basic ones that you could throw a coat on with the UK or whatever side that you're on that's colder and then obviously take it off when you're at your destination yeah so I hope you guys enjoy that and yes my hair was peach during the summer <laughs> for about five seconds and that was one of the few videos where my hair was actually peach in it next question is what is your must-have winter piece that isn't a coat this one's a hard one because I used to be super into hats I'm really into scarves and I'm definitely not that girl anymore. I don't really know <laughs> who am I? I think a winter boot is definitely one of my staples. I mean, I'm just really obsessed with like anything croc at the moment. Like these boots are from and other stories and I love them. ASOS have also just started doing a version of them as well, but in black. I think they're from River Island by ASOS and they are beautiful. I may own them. Anyway, I can't talk about that. So I would say a good like statement boot and then one like very classic boot that's gonna see you through everything, kind of like a sock boot type thing. These are really low heeled. I am obsessed with them. What is your color palette? Any color no-nos? Yeah, there are lots of color no-nos. Basically color is a no-no. If you've stumbled across this video and you wanted a video that talks about integrating color into your wardrobe, I'm sorry, but you've got the wrong girl. I had this question a lot and I kind of wanted to address it just because I don't have any tips but I just felt like I needed to talk about this. Tips on styling for your height. I get asked this a lot and I thought I would just briefly mention this in this video. I don't really style to my height. You know you get those like Trini and Susanna like Gokwan style tips on like what to do if you're shorter and wear this and do that fucking ignore them and just kind of everything is very trial and error as is dressing for your body shape which I had a ton of questions about like honestly couldn't get over the amount of questions I had on dressing for your body shape or dressing to suit a body shape I really don't like the whole dressing for a certain shape style rules because for one if I was doing that I'd be wearing like skater dresses all the time and honestly I've never felt more uncomfortable than when skater dresses were a thing so I personally think it's just all about trial and error and what you think works for you because what you think is flattering on you is very different to what someone else might think is flattering on you and I think it's just really important to experiment a lot most people just want to be like oh grab that buy that put it on yeah cool like it buy it and I understand that from that aspect the thought of trial and error can be really really tedious however it is so worthwhile just investing some time into really figuring out what you like and trying out a few different things even if it's just in a changing room or you do an ASOS order of things that you wouldn't normally wear but you kind of style them up see how you feel in them just from the comfort of your own home because changing room lighting is disgusting <laughs> for example for me I never used to go for like a structured shoulder but actually that and an oversized fit is one of the styles that I think is most flattering on me which is wild because I don't think any kind of like fashion expert would say that it's a good styling method for like my height and my shape I'm very like short can have the potential look to look very stumpy because my hips are very wide my ankles are very small so I think in a lot of senses oversized shouldn't work on me but it's one of the styles that I love the most and I actually think in the right way in the right silhouette is very flattering so i think it's all about just figuring out what works for you so that's in terms of body shape and in terms of height my best bit of advice would just be to get 
items tailored if you find something that you really love like a flared pair of trousers for example and you feel amazing in them but they're just a bit long just invest in having them taken up if you find the right seamstress it doesn't have to cost the earth either i had a dress a red dress that i wore years and years ago and i had it taken up exactly to my height i think it was a needle and thread dress really really beautiful and it's one of those things that i now always have in my wardrobe if there was like a suit and tie type event i would wear that i know it fits me i feel great in it and i do just think once something is tailored to your body it just feels that little bit more special so yeah i would definitely definitely recommend looking into that I think in terms of like jeans and things like that I don't worry about if they are too long because like with skinny jeans they are very tight to your leg and you can kind of just like bunch them up ever so slightly and they just do kind of ruche naturally so they just tend to fit a little bit better and if nothing else you can roll them same with boyfriend jeans so I don't really worry about that at all in terms of leather jackets I actually just search for ones that are very cropped so I don't know if you can see this one it's like actually super cropped i think it's from pretty little thing and bershka do a similar one on someone who is average height it would kind of hit around the same but it's also important to remember that even though you're short you can have a longer body and shorter legs or a longer legs and shorter body so again it is all about just like your body shape and trial and error and figuring out what it is that you need i actually find i think my legs are a little bit longer and i think it's my body that kind of lets me down the most so in terms of like my body length it's jackets that need to be more cropped and things like that and actually skirts and things like that aren't too bad so again it's just about good tailoring or for me i just don't bother and just kind of work with what works for my height and i do kind of browse a lot and try a lot of different items on and it, i do just invest my time a little bit more i think because shopping is a little bit harder okay i've had a quick bathroom break i'm back <laughs> so there were a lot of bad questions and in response to all of those i'm going to link my bag collection video which i've just done in the info box i think it was quite long and for that reason youtube doesn't let it into sub boxes so i feel like i'm going to be shouting about it for the rest of my life but yeah if there's any questions you have about any bag anything you want to know the name of that video it is there for you babes it also will probably be the last you will see in terms of handbags I, I say this will probably be the last thing you see in terms of handbags for a little while just because i'm putting my funds elsewhere in my life right now not in terms of ever because i obviously have amazing handbags but i won't be doing an updated bag collection for a while let's just say that next question is how do you manage to find amazing items from asos pretty little thing when there is so much to sort through i'm not gonna bullshit you there is no secret i literally trawl through all high street retailers kind of on a i would say on a weekly basis depending on how much time i have what video content i'm creating for you guys what i've got coming up what i'm planning that type of thing and that's why without sounding like a dickhead i do feel like affiliate links are a great way to say thank you to us because most of your favorite bloggers that you will see there is no secret to how they find amazing things and a lot of finding the best bits is just constantly scouring every section of the internet until you find like the best kind of selection of things so yeah it does just involve putting a lot of the work in and yeah that is that is it it's a lot it's a minefield sometimes i scroll through asos zara pretty little thing back to back and honestly it's like my brain is so overly stimulated i have to like take a tea break and just go sit there is a lot of stuff and i do understand how people struggle with those websites because there is so much but that's where that's why bloggers are good doing all the hard work for you what else have we got okay capsule wardrobe essentials now i've just picked five for this because i didn't want to make this super super long but let me know if this is something that you would like to see more of if you'd like to see like a capsule wardrobe basics capsule wardrobe essentials let me know i love the idea of doing capsule wardrobe videos obviously i don't have a capsule wardrobe or work from a capsule wardrobe i mean my content would be very boring if i only had like 30 pieces in my wardrobe however i love the idea of putting like select sets of looks together for you guys that you could work into like multiple outfits from just like a few items so let me know if that is content that you would like to see more of because i'm more than happy to delve into that world i really like making little edits like i do it on this rail quite a lot so my first thing that i would say is an essential for me if i were to capture wardrobe or just for anyone in general that has style like mine i would say um, a leather jacket is like your number one and i know that's probably the most boring and my capture wardrobe edits are going to be a little bit more pair back just because i do think that these are classics that will last you for years and years and years so yeah leather jacket is my number one i would say leather jacket with silver detailing just because i think it's more versatile and adds to like the more casual look of a leather jacket like leather jackets are made to look casual and i think if you would have one that had gold hardware i would say it's more appropriate for like evening wear and therefore it wouldn't fit into a capsule wardrobe because if you don't know capsule wardrobes do not include and this is what i love gym wear evening wear I think like really cold weather wear and some 
summer things. So yeah, leather jacket, silver detailing, or like gunmetal detailing, which I think is just better for everyday wear. I know lots of people prefer gold because they wear gold jewelry, but I honestly wear lots of gold jewelry and I mix it all the time. I have no issue with mixing metals in any way. Next, I would say a really comfy, like really easy, flattering on you black jumper this is my favorite i'm gonna be very honest it's seen better days but i love this one it's from zara but yeah it just hits me kind of below my hip but it's not too long and it's not too short so it's great for tucking and that works really really well with a pair of skinny jeans these are the top shop sydney jeans some days i love them some days i absolutely hate them but i do think any pair of skinny jeans that look really great on you i alternate between these and Joni jeans for anyone that's wondering but this black top tucked into these skinny jeans is just like a great, really easy everyday combo. And I think these work really well with other items. If you do have a capsule wardrobe, like your black skinny jeans, you can wear with shirts, jumpers, you know, I'm, I don't need to teach you how to wear jeans. Everyone knows how to wear jeans. And in the same vein, your black jumper will work so well with shorts in the summer, with skirts. I wear these with midi skirts all the time. Works really well with a nice pair of black trackies like I'm wearing right now it will work really nicely under my leather jacket because it's not too thick it works well over shirts like if you're wearing an oversized shirt and it kind of is falling out at the bottom so you have the shirt kind of underneath and then the bottom of the shirt kind of coming out the bottom this is extra long so that was a very extreme example but yeah your perfect black jumper will get you very very far a body to throw underneath these work really well in the summer this one's from zara i get a lot of questions on these bodies i don't wear a bra with them i would say if you are going to wear a bra a strapless like soft cut like t-shirt bra style you know where it's just like no lace or anything like that it's just completely smooth i'd say a strapless one of those underneath would just about work it might pop out a little bit here but just wear the same color as the body and no one will really notice or on the flip side you can tape yourself up if you're that way inclined i love boob tape it's one of my favorite things in the world there are also those bras that go multiple ways and i do think if you had it crossing over across your front and coming across your back down that would work with this you do have a very high neckline and that kind of works well for different styles of bras so it might be worth looking into one of those like multi strap bras for this but anyway this works really well under jumpers in the winter it's a really great layering piece and it also works really well in the summer i think anybody in general but those are my favorite in particular just because i think they have the most flattering cut it's just so so flattering on most figures i think so would highly recommend those but any black body is a capsule wardrobe essential for me and then finally we have the sock boot i don't really know how to show these please ignore i know people get really funny of me touching the bottom of my shoes but i'm just not really sure how to show these otherwise i love sock boots i love black boots in general but these are great especially in this style they have a very pointed toe and i know not everyone is a fan of a pointed toe but it really does elongate your leg especially this could be a tip if you are shorter a pointed toe really elongates the figure so having like an all black silhouette and then this just really makes you look a lot taller than you are these are perfect because they have a very very small heel i know it doesn't look it but that's actually like a relatively low heel do i have another one that i can show you a lot of the time we're working with heels that are more like this so it's relatively low in comparison and these are great for wearing with leather trousers blue denim black denim they just work really really well and all of these five items that i would say are capsule wardrobe essentials all fit really really well together to make a very classic look and it's a look that i will probably sport for the rest of my life <laughs> if i'm honest i've been wearing leather jackets and skinny jeans and black for the longest time so those are the things i would say are my capsule wardrobe essentials the next question is how to dress business appropriate without ever wearing heels this is a difficult one for me to answer purely because i am a great lover of heels i'm very blessed i don't find them too uncomfortable i do like walking a lot where i can so that's my only gripe with heels but quite often i like have trainers to throw on and things like that but i would say if you're gonna do business appropriate or even just like for every day and you don't want to wear heels i have two shoe options that i love and i'm going to talk you through now i know not everybody likes boots and not everybody likes kind of flat shoes so i'm going to give you two options here really footwear is very hard to talk about i know so many people have very specific preferences with footwear and the more i talk to people the more i realize that and i actually do think it's one of the trickiest things to talk about with styling because everyone is so specific to their own needs everyone has different shaped feet so things just fit differently things feel differently the longer you're wearing them so these are just a couple of like options i personally love a slingback but i know not everyone loves them not everyone thinks they're like super weather appropriate so 
just work with me here. Oh, and I know not everyone lives in the UK where we have quite a mild winter compared to a lot of places. So just take this very, very lightly, basically. But if you're in the UK, this might help you. These are the first pair of shoes I would recommend if you're not a fan. Like these have a small heel, but I consider them a flat because your feet actually feel flat when you're in them, weirdly. They're just like super, super low. I think you can also find these in like a proper flat. Basically they're a Chelsea style boot, but they're pointed on the toe. You guys know I love a pointed toe. And these used to be one of my go-to pairs of boots and still I, I can't get rid of them. I actually still love them so much and I've had them for years and years. These are from Acne. They're probably one of the first like pricier things I ever bought but I do think they were one of the best things I ever spent my money on because I still have them I still wear them every so often I don't love flats as much as I used to so I don't wear Chelsea boots so much anymore I prefer to wear one of these with a heel but I do think for work these are an amazing boot and they work really well with like a tailored kind of cigarette trouser and then like an oversized blazer or a tailored cigarette trouser and a body tailored cigarette trouser and a duster coat like there are just so many options with these and I really do recommend a nice classic leather faux leather pair of shoes like this they don't need to be leather just whatever you can get your hands on in this style I just think they are a great pair of shoes to have in your wardrobe they're really beautiful these are obviously looking like they've seen better days because they are about six years old however not everyone likes boots so these are my next pair of shoes i would suggest you can find these everywhere now because the gucci loafer had its moments such a long time ago now that you can get these on the high street really really cheap these are the og gucci ones if you don't love a shoe with a back like i actually love the loafer versions of these because i think they're more flattering on your leg because you just see more of an extension of the leg if that makes sense it just kind of keeps your silhouette going that little bit more especially from behind these kind of do cut you off a little bit more however these are just a little bit better for the winter time if you don't love wearing a boot obviously if you don't love wearing boots and it's winter your feet are going to be cold and you just need to accept that because i can't work miracles because i'm not a magician if someone can show me a magical shoe that will keep your feet warm but isn't a boot i would love to know what that is because i actually i don't know what that is and it isn't a trainer i would love to know because that's basically impossible but i love these if you look at a lot of like olsen twins styling videos they often wear kind of like a classic black loafer and these look great with again like a cigarette trouser and a body but yeah they work beautifully with tailored trousers they also work really well with like mom jeans and a black skinny jean and then an oversized like black jacket i just think it looks so chic it's a really timeless look i would actually advise these for a capsule wardrobe as well but yeah these are my other option and if you don't like a back to a shoe or you just don't find it flattering for whatever reason these also do come in backless I think June do these like a dupe of these and they do them backless they also do them with like the faux fur as well which I did think was so cute yeah I will link like dupes for these and the original thing in the info box but those are my two options for when you want to do business but you don't want to wear a heel they also work really well for like every day as well so even if you're just looking for like a nice shoe to wear like on the weekends and stuff they work really really nicely as well you can really casual them down i just love shoes at the moment you can just really do so much with them i'm really 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 obsessed with shoes like it's not even funny someone's asked what type of jacket or coat would you style with a maxi or midi dress or skirt desperately in need of help so i would say for like a midi skirt it kind of depends on whether it's fitted or not actually i would say whether it's fitted or not an aviator jacket always looks quite cool especially if you have one that's like for example this cream one is in the same tone as my like cream midi skirt so i would probably wear the two together so it's kind of monochromatic and the same if you're wearing like a black midi skirt i would say a black aviator could work really really well aside from that if you're wearing a fitted midi or maxi anything i would say teddy bear coats look really really good with it especially if you're really trying to style it out you can like pop it off the shoulder and just look very like I don't know i really like that vibe so i would say teddy bear coats if it's fitted if it's not an aviator and if neither of those work for you a leather jacket is always the one there were lots and lots and lots of questions about changing your style and how to do this if you're kind of like rejigging your wardrobe and changing up your style and then there were lots of questions on me changing my style so i'm going to approach this little bit by little bit <laughs> so let's start with if you're changing your style i would say number one my best tip is to do it gradually it's best for your bank balance and it's best for you mentally to be able to really see what you're working with i would advise to do something like what i did with my what i wore in a week's where i looked at what i've been wearing every single day and what i really loved wearing and what i wasn't getting the wear out of took everything out that i wasn't getting the wear out of stored it don't throw it away straight away don't ever throw clothes away by the way also i feel like i say throw away and people go <gasps> And when I say throw away, I mean give away to charity. I literally give all my clothes to charity. So when I say throw it away, I don't mean like actually physically send it to the dump because don't do that. Store things, don't get rid of them 
give them to charity, throw them away, straight away, just store them so that if there is something that you feel like, actually, no, I really miss that, you can get it back out and just really rework your wardrobe perfectly and slowly over time. It's not something that I think happens overnight and you do have to pay quite a lot of attention to it. There's no like one step hack really to finding a new style. And I would also say is what you're looking for isn't necessarily a new style. It's more about curating your wardrobe and making it perfect for you and really streamlining everything to make sure that you're getting the wear out of it and to make sure your outfits are feeling at their best as well. And you can just wake up in the morning and just know what you love putting together without having to look at your wardrobe and think, oh my God, I have nothing to wear. None of us have nothing to wear. We just have too much choice. And that is where capsule wardrobes I think are fucking amazing because it gives you less choice. But what you don't want is too little choice. So I would say start off by documenting what you're wearing every day for a month and then look back at all of those photos, see what you're wearing the most, what you're wearing, but like you're not wearing it with other things. So if you've got like a black jumper, for example, that you're only wearing with your black jeans, try switching it up a little bit and just like make little rails, make little sections in your wardrobe. Just really work out what your favorite items are and where you could be working with them better and keep those in your wardrobe, take everything else out, store it, fold it. And you might be left with a lot less, but it's from that point that you can start identifying gaps in your wardrobe. So for example, I recently did the whole storing thing and I've slowly started realizing that there were gaps in my wardrobe. And actually more than anything, I found that there were gaps in not in my actual wardrobe in terms of like the clothing I had, but more the shoes I had to pair with things. Sometimes my issues were coming from actually not having the best pair of shoes that went with everything. And that was where I realized things needed a little more rejigging than I originally thought, and actually not in the same way that I originally thought. So it's just really good to take a step back, strip everything out, and then see what you're working with and what you're missing. It's always a good idea to also make a Pinterest board or a mood board, or kind of make a list depending on how you work best. I work better visually, so it's good for me to like look at different outfits that inspire me versus like writing them down but some people work better from writing like outfits down that they've seen so say you log on to pinterest and you see some new ways of styling some stuff that you already own make a note of it in whatever way is best for you and then try giving those a go with the items already in your wardrobe and if there's something that you don't have you can make a note of it and if you find yourself repeatedly coming back to needing that item then it might be time to make a little purchase and add that in or go through your stored items and see if there's anything like that that is in there that would obviously be the first port of call but my brain doesn't work that way literally working backwards there but anyway you get my point so that is the kind of way i would start to rejig your wardrobe and your look but without spending a ton of money so then we're moving on to more me focus which i didn't really want this video to be about just like my style i really wanted to give more tips in this but this was like such a highly asked question so i thought i'd just like throw this one in at the end so what is your favorite thing about your style evolution was one of the questions all of these were really difficult questions to answer no matter how the question was phrased because for me not a lot has really changed i think outwardly because you guys see me a couple of times a week things sometimes feel like they change quicker really for you guys than they do for me. I think style is a real reflection of like how you are feeling at the time and the past six years of my life have just been like an actual tornado so I feel like I'm out of that and I feel like my style is also reflecting that. When you look back at where I was a few years ago like my style is actually not that different from where I was at when I was like 23-ish I want to say but it is kind of ebbed and flowed in between and now that I've kind of stripped everything back I feel like you can just see the bare bones of where the heart of my style is so it's very monochrome leather jackets are still there denim jackets are still there there's a lot of black as always a lot of white like it is all very monochromatic and it's all about the silhouette and it always really has been I definitely feel like there was a period where that kind of got a bit lost and all felt a bit wishy-washy and honestly that's I think because I felt a bit wishy-washy but yeah so I don't really have too many feelings on my style evolution I don't even know if I like calling it that but I would say where I'm at right now just feels really right it's really easy to get dressed in the morning I don't feel overwhelmed by my wardrobe anymore like it all just feels really 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 good and really cohesive and well curated like it's not a small wardrobe <laughs> in any sense of the word but I'm getting really good use out of everything that I have and I don't find that I'm really wanting for too much if I'm very very honest I'm really happy with where everything is out at the moment obviously there will always be like new into my wardrobe because brands gift and it's just a big part of my job but if all of that stopped tomorrow and styling wasn't my job anymore or styling for other people became my job but not on the internet not creating content because I think I'd probably just go into personal styling if this all just stopped but if it all stopped I would just be really really happy with my wardrobe and I feel like the pieces that I have with me I would carry with me forever because they are just all 
so nice and so perfect. I find talking about my style evolution really difficult, like I feel like a dickhead just saying it, but all I really want to say is just like, I know where I'm at now. And I feel like that's reflecting from like a place inside as well. So I feel like I know where I'm at and I'm quite sure of myself. The silhouettes are strong. Like the looks that I put together, I feel like are quite strong and reflective of where I feel like I'm at on the inside. So yeah, that's where I'm gonna leave it today because talking about like myself personally sometimes, some days it's just really difficult. I'm gonna go, I hope you found this video really useful. Let me know if you'd like another one of these sooner rather than later, I'd be so happy to put another one together. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, please subscribe because we have Vlogmas coming up where I will just be taking you around my life and we have lots and lots of style content coming up. I've got another two style videos I think I need to try and film this week so there's plenty more coming where this came from. There may even be a few new in Zara pieces that I'm testing out but that is it from me and I will see you guys again very very soon. Goodbye!